The Legion 5i Pro, a gaming laptop, but easily one of the best laptops for creative professionals, whether you're doing 3D modeling, video editing, Photoshop work as a photographer, graphic designer, digital artist, or even motion designer, Blender. It tops the charts on all of the benchmarks and even sits above laptops with better components. However, the Legion 5i Pro optimizes the i7-12700H and RTX 3060 so well that it beats out i9 processors and RTX 3070 Ti's. And so it is one of the best laptops of the year, in my opinion, even the last two years. But then comes along the Asus ZenBook Pro 16X, a laptop truly built for creative professionals. We have the Asus Dial, which to me is a game changer for creative professionals. It allows you to change your brush size, scroll through your Premiere Pro timeline, set up shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve, or any of the other Adobe Creator apps, even Affinity Photo, Figma, or Sketch. So it has all that you need to be a Creator laptop with the glass vibration clip trackpad, a 16 by 10, 16 inch OLED screen with great color accuracy and contrast. Your darks are darker and your colors are brighter. It is a fantastic laptop. And I feel like this laptop was built for me. So why would you choose the Legion 5i Pro over the Asus ZenBook Pro 16X? That's what this video is all about. Now I'm not gonna waste your time with benchmarks because just flat out, this laptop performs better on every single level. It has better playback, it has better export times, it has better Blender scores and 3D modeling scores. It's just a more optimized laptop. However, this laptop comes with all of these features. So let's jump into a few key elements why you might wanna choose one over the other. Now, first and foremost, the battery life on the Legion 5i Pro is much better. As you see the battery life coming up on the screen, it gets much better past mark productivity and streaming and video editing and Photoshop battery life. Now you see the Asus ZenBook battery life coming up on the screen and it is quite disappointing. I would say if this laptop lacks anything, it is the efficiency of processor. I really wish this would have come with maybe a Ryzen 9 6900HS because that processor would have made this battery life fantastic. Now, keep in mind that the Legion 5i Pro comes with the Legion Vantage center. That's where you can control iGPU mode, which allows you to only use the CPU rather than using the CPU and GPU, which is where the ZenBook lacks. It does have whisper mode. It does have standard mode. It does have performance mode inside the My Asus Center, but it doesn't have iGPU mode, which makes it to where the battery suffers in this situation. So Lenovo sent over these three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros. And as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're going to kick off a giveaway to celebrate passing the 100,000 subscriber mark. The faster we get there, the sooner the giveaway is coming your way. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this video, and drop a comment of how you would use a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Now I will say, as far as the weight and thickness is concerned, the Legion 5i Pro is a little bit thicker, but they're about the same weight. Now you can tell from the look down on the top camera that the ZenBook is a much more refined, modern looking laptop. You have some more of the gamer flares taking place here on the Legion 5i Pro. You got ports along the back panel and these big vents, whereas you have no ports along the back panel in just a nice slim vent, very reminiscent of the StudioBook Pro 16 OLED from Asus. Now, you do have a lot more connectivity in regards to the ports. You have an HDMI, three USB type A's, a USB type C, and a network port. And on the right side panel, you have another USB type A and your manual cutoff switch for the webcam. And then you have another USB type C and a headphone jack. Whereas the more creator focused ZenBook comes with an SD card slot, a headphone jack, and an HDMI. And on the other side, all you have is one USB type A, two USB type C's, and your power adapter. So as far as connectivity is concerned, the Legion 5 iPro is a much more connected laptop. Now, as we open the laptops and take a look at the inside, I prefer the simplified keyboard on the ZenBook as a creator. I don't need a numpad personally. I know some people using 3D modeling programs really value the numpad, but I do not personally use it while video editing using Photoshop and my day-to-day -day workflow. I love the dial, as I mentioned earlier. It is a huge boost in productivity to me to be able to use that dial. And of course, the gorgeous large glass trackpad, which is a vibration click trackpad. As you can see, it is so much bigger than the Legion 5i Pro. Now this glass vibration trackpad really is something else. It is a little bit soft, so when you push it, it feels like it's giving and it's clicking, but the vibration mixed with the slightly flexible glass trackpad gives it that really authentic feel. This is a manual click and it's louder as you can 
you can't even really hear it. It's, it's very much reminiscent of the MacBook Pro trackpad. It's fantastic. I have no complaints about it. I've been enjoying it for the past few weeks. I've had this laptop in my studio. And of course, this is a touchscreen laptop that comes with a pen, which is a fantastic feature as well. Now they're both 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 16 inch screens, and we do have good color gamut range on both of them. However, the ZenBook is going to be more color accurate, your darks are gonna be darker, and your colors are going to be brighter with that OLED screen. However, as you saw, it did pull some battery life as well. It just is a battery sucker of a computer. It's again, the one big downside that frustrates me about this laptop. Now for a quick sample of the keyboard and trackpad in use, I'm gonna give you an audio sample of that. And of course they do both come with webcams and here's a quick sample of me using the webcam. This is the webcam on the Asus ZenBook Pro 16X OLED and a little sample of the audio for you. Really nice looking webcam, clear. It is a 720p, but it does have a clean image coming out of it. This is the camera on the Legion 5i Pro and a little audio sample for you as well. When I back up a little bit, it kind of mellows out. When I get really close, I'm really close to my light. So the camera actually looks pretty good, especially for that 720p webcam. And if you want a better audio experience, I would lean you towards the Asus ZenBook Pro 16X. And here's a quick sample of the audio for each of these laptops with the speakers. <laughs> Now a big standout feature for the Legion 5i Pro is that there is plenty of upgrade path available to you. You can swap out both RAM sticks and there is two occupiable M.2 slots. One occupied, one open when you purchase the laptop. And with the ZenBook, you cannot upgrade the RAM, which to me was very disappointing. I wish you could upgrade the RAM as it would make for an expandable laptop, but what you purchase the laptop is what you're keeping it with. So make sure you get the laptop with the amount of RAM that you want. Now punch for punch, which laptop would I choose? If I was a 3D modeling guru, if I did a lot of work in After Effects, if I needed to do some Blender work, if I had very heavy 6K projects, I would lean toward the Legion 5i Pro. It just is more of the performance focused machine. However, if I'm doing 4K, maybe some light 6K B-Raw like I do on my channel here, and I needed to do some work in Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, or Adobe InDesign, I would be flying towards the Asus ZenBook Pro 16X. It is just a much more creator-focused computer. It's just lacking a little bit of horsepower compared to the Legion 5i Pro. I would say it's about a 10 to 15% decrease in performance compared to the Legion 5i Pro. So it's not like you're getting a ton more performance out of Legion 5i Pro, but it does have an edge on the Asus ZenBook Pro 16X. Like I said, I wanted to keep this more of a short feature focused video. If you feel wanton and you want me to compare the actual benchmarks head to head, definitely comment below and let me know. Otherwise, links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.